reassert themselves here. And he fires one incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, now Brady. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. They'll take over first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. Skirts by him at the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. First down, Houston. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And now he's going to use his legs. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Justin Simmons on the tackle. A seven-yard pickup. Here's Mahomes to throw, out to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Tyson Omerolu in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down. And this will be caught by Edwards. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. They'll contain him to just four, second down. now second and six at the nine-yard line. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Jones, the ball carrier. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Touchdown, Houston. From eight yards out. And the Texans push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. 25-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. From the 29, Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 39. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Lining up for the point after. So that is two pick sixes he's thrown in this football game. Now you take those away, Charles, it's a completely different situation. It totally is, but guess what? They have to deal with what they have now, okay? So they can't just mentally go, well, if we had thrown those pick sixes, we'd be okay. Here's where you are. Here's where you're going to battle. But guess what? They're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, 
He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Julio Jones. 75 yards. And the Patriots get a score closer. The Patriots will line up for a... Now he didn't even get a chance to settle in for that. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass. Picked it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown, their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. At the 24-yard line. Mahomes again here on second and ten. That's into the hands of Edwards. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. And he'll lose yardage here going down back at the 28. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. So the punt goes for 56 with a decent return of 13. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Nick Kwiatkowski there on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 29-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To throw again on second down, Brady. And he's going to be swallowed up, sacked back at the 45-yard line. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Got second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Play action. Now it's Brady. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back now in Foxborough. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. 
On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Open man is Edwards. He's got it. Come seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a game Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 41 yard line. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he gets this all the way down to the Patriots' 29-yard line. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On second and nine, Mahomes. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The Texans on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Now Jones. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. The Pats at the line ready to go. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Brady. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again. Brady, flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 34. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Chugger, chugger. Chugger, chugger. He's crossing. He's checking crap. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 20. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here. Not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. 
And, I... and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Patriots. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. Yeah. At their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute it's palpable right now they're on top in the fourth quarter clinging to that lead a potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead at the 29 yard line They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. This a big play from both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. It's third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he is going to have a Texans first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And Jones with a first down carry, and he's going to wind up losing a couple as he stopped behind the line. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. At the 35-yard line. They'll go again to Jones. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw is Mahomes. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, Michael and they'll take Dixon. that. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will take over at their own 20. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Buying time to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Brady's pass. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Texans 28. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And, you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, 
They've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this loss? Or will this loss linger and really make them, you know, make it tough for them to come out of the gate strong next year? Only time will tell, but they've got to find a way to use this loss and use it as motivation. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.